Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. I am Illumini and I'm here today to show you how to live stream Ableton using OBS. So the first thing we are going to want to do is pull up your browser and we're going to have to download a few different things. The first thing is a free VST plugin from Reaper. It's called Restream. Essentially, you just want to go to this website and then come down here and download this replugs re folder and unpack that and make sure your VST plugins go to the right locations. Next thing we would want to download is, of course, the latest version of OBS. And the final thing you're going to want is a virtual audio driver. Essentially, this is just going to be a dummy driver for whenever you're setting up the connection between Ableton and OBS. And I'll kind of touch a little bit more on this here in just a second. So after everything is installed, then you're going to want to come up to Ableton and type in your Restream plugin. You're actually going to want to put this on the master channel. And for the identifier, you can just leave it as default. Make sure it's enabled. You are sending the audio out and you're just using the local broadcast. So essentially what this plugin does is it sends the audio from your DAW to a, another program. Let's say you had maybe two different DAWs and you wanted to send audio from Ableton to Logic or something like that, then this plugin could actually make that happen. But for our purposes, we're using OBS. So essentially the first thing you would wanna do is add an additional audio input. And I'm not going to actually add a new one because I already have one. But after you've created that new audio input, you would click on it and you would want to use one of those uh, dummy drivers, like I mentioned. Because if you use the default driver or a microphone or maybe even your audio interface, then you're going to have your microphone coming through more than once. Because the way I have it set up, is my microphone's coming into my DAW and then it's coming out through the Restream plugin. So after you have set up your dummy driver onto your new audio capture, then essentially you would select or right click that audio capture and then select filters. And this is kind of where the magic happens. You would click the plus symbol and then you would click VST2. And I already have one, but I'll just make a new one. Restream. It's already in use. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, you would come up here to this drop down and you would scroll all the way down till you see your restream. And you would open that up. Make sure the identifier is the same, make sure it's enabled, and then click receive audio and essentially what that does is it allows you to receive the audio that the other restream plugin is putting out it's pretty awesome and you're not actually dealing with the latency of the plugin because what I'm listening to is actually just my audio interface. So it's basically the same as if I was to just open up Ableton and start playing with it. I'm not actually monitoring through OBS because that would give additional latency, which I'm not a fan of. Trying to talk when there's latency is like ridiculously difficult. <laughs> Anyways. That pretty much covers it. This is actually similar to another video 
that was on YouTube that I watched, and that's kind of where I learned how to do this. But the difference between that video and this one was the guy used the default um, audio input. And whenever I did that, like I said, it caused my microphone to come through twice and it was annoying. And I would much rather use the audio coming out of my DAW because I can easily drag in plugins to uh, help with, you know, DSing or compression on my voice. And yeah, it's just a lot handier. The only other thing that I'm not a fan of is the fact that whenever you are creating a video, if you're like playing an instrument or something and you want to solo out that instrument, it will actually cause your voice to go in and out. For instance, hello. So, I mean, it works, but you just kind of have to keep that in mind. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you would, leave a like and subscribe, and I would definitely appreciate it. You guys have an awesome day.